Hello everyone, my name's Jay Beetle. This is Staxel. I would say it's a game with a lot of potential. It's not even in early access on Steam yet, but I think they plan to. Let's make a character real quick, and we'll jump into the, the test server that the developers have up. As a matter of fact, there are a, a handful of servers already up that are unofficial, so it's uh, just taken off, I guess. So here we have the character selection screen. Um, pretty much standard to any type of game with a character creation screen. You can choose different characters, skin, hair, eyes, yada yada yada, but the thing that I find interesting is, other than the fact that they are obsessed with cats, is that I think you'll be able to eventually, perhaps now, be able to upload your modded version. So just because you don't see something you like here, I think I can't say for sure, but I think you're able to make your own in another program and import it, as well as having mods that just add a bunch more. That's all sort of hearsay. I've heard people say that they're working on them, and it's working. They just want to release more, but, you know, we'll see what that is. I think this needs a random button, because I'm a random type of guy that just enjoys ha Okay, we can't, we can't do this here. We'll just be emo for now. That's not the point of it anyway. So I joined the main server... And by main server, I mean just what they have built. Up until recently, as of like a week ago or so, they were in closed beta, or closed alpha, really, and only developers were on here. And they were occasionally showing on Twitter their little, um, their little homes and houses, and it was nice to to see it because look at this is like I don't know a prettier version of Minecraft. Everyone's going to compare it to Minecraft. You got to immediately. As a matter of fact. Uh, they compared Starbound and Terraria to Minecraft, and it ended up being or it ended up being the 2D Minecraft. That's what Terraria is called. And then Starbound came along, and it was like space Terraria in space, which was then Minecraft 2D in space. And the reason I mention this is because one of the lead developers of Terraria ended up breaking off to make Starbound, or maybe he wasn't a lead developer. Maybe he was just an artist. Anyway, Ty, we all know him. Anyone who's familiar with Starbound and Terraria knows him. And then, off of that, Bart left Ty, left the Starbound crew to make Staxel, which is what you see here. And there was no ill will or bad blood between anybody. They just wanted, I, I believe the story is that the creator of this game wanted to stay in the States and. Ty required people to move to London to be clo closer. You know, it, it makes all it all makes sense, but you got to make choices sometimes. And he chose to make this game instead with the help of uh, a developing team. And so I'm pretty sure 90% of what you see is creation by the devs. So before we get to the tools, I just want to walk around and show everyone. By the way, it is nighttime. It has a day-night cycle. Right now, that doesn't mean much. Uh, other than the lighting changes. It will eventually have things like Harvest Moon, where you have to keep watering your crops and, and sell them and, and trade them. There's not going to be combat unless it's modded in, which, you know, to be honest, I wouldn't mind. So it's essentially creative mode 24-7. But that being said, there are a lot of things that people have made already that are really more impressive than anything I could do. Now, people might compare this to Minecraft. I, th I think I already did, and you might say, what can this do that Minecraft can't? Well, that's a dumb question right now, because it's in alpha, and if you want to play a finished game, you want to play Minecraft. I do think that this is prettier. Obviously it is. It's a, well, I won't say it's more ambitious, because Minecraft started off as just a single, it was made with single player in mind. I mean, if you remember the single player was the only thing uh, that allowed the nether to exist. If you did it in multiplayer, it would not work for the longest time. And then, you know, it grew, and the budget just ended up being endless amounts of money, and it took off. I do know one thing, one difference. In Minecraft, can you sleep in a bed and be headless? Oh my god. What is there to do in this game at this point? Well, building is pretty much it. They planned for it to be... Half Harvest Moonish and half uh, creative build whatever you want, Ville. And I think the voxel style lends itself very well to that type of gameplay. Meaning, 
in Minecraft, you could build whatever you want, just like this, but they were specific blocks. In this, if you dig, if, if you I just open up the inventory for a second, because I actually haven't explained that even that yet, we'll get to that, you can dig, and you'll notice that you dig in like four, it's like four times the detail, I'd say, uh, to add to your buildings and whatnot. Now, right here, they look pretty square. They look pretty much the same. And if you were to make something a quarter, I guess what I'm saying is, you could make something the, a quarter of the size of what you would have to make it in Minecraft to have the same amount of detail because you have to dig four times just to make one little block. And I don't think it's a bad thing. Another cool thing is that when you, you can use a little eyedropper tool, which is G for now, and it goes immediately to that same one. So you can immediately continue and then you, you can hit this whatever button again. You hit two, you get your shovel back. The shovel is essentially the pick and the axe and the shovel all in one and then there's the hoe the hoe is here not just a shovel because it has farming aspect which doesn't quite work i've seen in the trailers that it works i don't think it works in this build that the public has access to but that's all right i know it's coming i know it works just probably not well enough and this is a cool graveyard i'm like i said i assume all the people that have done this stuff when i arrived or devs or friends of the devs. You can really see what is available. And this is just stock stuff. Uh, in the trailer for the seedling edition, which is what you can get now for five bucks, which by the way, it'll go to from, I think the final price is 15 to 25, but right now it's only five. You can see all the, the, the basic stuff. Now, hello guy, hello. Okay, we're going to continue on our way. Like a, a, a building that's <laughs> dilapidated, that's unfinished. Let's look at the inventory now. So, we open the inventory with E, and there's all this stuff. Now, I don't think that these quite work yet, because no matter what you click on, in certain cases, nothing comes up. And you, you know there's flowers here, there's flowers here, and I assume that's what a flower. Maybe it's this one. Either way, this one works, maybe this one. The shovels the watering can, the axe, they all work right now, but there's plenty of things that don't. Plus, I tried to find how to do a lamp earlier, but I, I was saying light, and if you type in light, nothing happens, but apparently they didn't think light would be good enough. But if you type in lamp in the, I guess this is the all button, you're able to see, you know, all the different lamps. Look at all the different lamps, not very many. Like I said, work in progress. But to that, I'm pretty sure he really heavily wants mods. So by mods, a lot of things, when you think of mods, you think of reskins and reskins being at the easy side and then things that change the whole game being on the hard side of the mods. I'm not really a mod creator, so I don't know much more than that. But in this game, you can sh pretty much mod anything. Meaning, if you like this lamp, but you want it to be bigger, you can create your own little voxel model. I'm not sure what program you use, but I've seen it. And you can do, you can make it bigger, or you can make a completely different lamp. And to that end, he, the, the developer recently mentioned that he's got it so server-side mods can use, or server, server moderators and admins can add mods to their server and the client won't have to download it. I think that's the way he said it. All this is up in the air, but I'm pretty sure. So there's an endless amount of content and I think that's the right direction it's going in. The more content, the the prettier stuff can look. I think this is the, this game is going to be on the role playing side, not necessarily the get to the end of the game. I'm sure Minecraft has plenty of role-playing aspects, but it also has the combat and upgrading your character, um, leveling up your weapons and different enchanting to the weapons and all that kinds of stuff. I hope to see different movable objects in this game, for instance, things that can um, automate other things, just, just as a coolness factor. Right now, it's more of how can I make this look the way I want it given the small amount of items that I am allowed. Like this, it's a it's a very unique way of doing a, uh, a diving board, but you can obviously tell there's no 
diving board model. It's just using wood planks and a, a regular stone tablet-like thing. That being said, I can't wait to see what's th what this is all about. Finally, I'd like to show you a little bit of the building. There's not... Um, it's, it's really simple, actually. You just choose what you want, and you can place it. Now, I, I do wish that they would show a little uh, hologram of where it's going to be placed and how tall it is and whatnot. That would be really nice. But for now, you can just, you know, place whatever you want, assuming it fits. I don't think you can place it on top of each other. No. And then you get your shovel, and the shovel seems to take away everything. I did see an axe. I think you guys saw it. But, as you can see, we can take it away either way. And I'm probably going to screw somebody up. This I did not do this. Do not blame this on me. Um, actually, let's see. If we go to the axes, or the axe, I guess there's only one. Then, put that up there on, a, on the toolbar. See what it does. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, even I didn't know that. And Okay, I guess they've started to implement... Being able to pick things up. Oh, I can pick things up. See, I'm learning things just telling you guys about it. And then so I can just chop... Oops. Well, let's get back to it. I can chop chop it and it... Oh, it's like popping popcorn. Oh, I didn't do it for that. So I guess that was either a glitch or luck of the draw. Oh, no. It seemed... Okay, I think this is the correct way to do it. I love that. Yeah, I love it. And then picking up isn't instant. And it's... You get individual ones really either way it won't I can't wait until it's not creative mode I like to work for what I make but either way let's see if we can place one of these probably not no these are items they're not placeables so we got to pick up some placeables so I guess we will just throw something in, something down here real quick I'm probably gonna ruin somebody's little day because this is not something that they really want and then if you notice it looks the same as minecraft until you start going across from it because if you build up and then want to go to the side that's all the same that's a, that's a half a stack and then with let me just ex explain a little bit better because i know i'm doing a terrible job of it yeah that's the normal size of a block and then you can just cover around it and it knows how to do it it doesn't have to have the right amount of room or anything, and I really like that. It's just smart. I really hope you guys enjoy this little preview of Staxel. I believe I'm going to play it a little, build a few things as it develops with uh, a new collab partner of mine. Maybe maybe a couple of old ones if they're interested, because this is this is type of game you play with a lot of friends. I, I see it not reaching its full potential unless you're playing with people. So on that note, I want to show you what I think is the coolest feature of the game, and I will see you next time we play it. Thanks for watching.